the general term or the kth term of the given series is equal to k upon 2k minus 1 whole square times 2k plus 1 whole square. Now note that the expression 1 upon 2k minus 1 whole square minus 1 upon 2k plus 1 whole square which is equal to 2k plus 1 whole square minus 2k minus 1 whole square divided by 2k minus 1 whole square times 2k plus 1 whole square which is equal to 2k plus 1 plus 2k minus 1 multiplied by in brackets 2k plus 1 minus in brackets 2k minus 1 divided by 2k minus 1 whole square times 2k plus 1 whole square. And this simplifies to 4k times 2 divided by 2k minus 1 whole square times 2k plus 1 whole square. Now divide both sides by 8 and we get the result k upon 2k minus 1 whole square times 2k plus 1 whole square is equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets 1 upon 2k minus 1 whole square minus 1 upon 2k plus 1 whole square. Now note that the left hand side is the kth term of the given series. Let's denote it by uk. Putting k is equal to 1, we get the first term of the series u1 equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets 1 upon 1 square minus 1 upon 3 square. Put k is equal to 2, we get u2 equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets 1 upon 3 square minus 1 upon 5 square. Put k is equal to 3, we get u3 is equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets, 1 upon 5 square minus 1 upon 7 square, and so on. Put k is equal to n, we get un is equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets, 1 upon 2n minus 1 whole square minus 1 upon 2n plus 1 whole square. Now we add all of these equations. Note that on the right hand side alternate terms cancel and we are left with only two terms. And on the left hand side we have u1 plus u2 plus and so on till un. And this is equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets 1 minus 1 upon 2n plus 1 whole square. This is the sum of the first n terms of the given series. And let's denote it by Sn. Therefore, Sn is equal to 1 upon 8 times in brackets 1 minus 1 upon 2n plus 1 whole square. And therefore, the sum to infinity is equal to the limit of Sn as n tends to infinity, which is equal to the limit of 1 upon 8 times in brackets 1 minus 1 upon 2n plus 1 whole square as n tends to infinity. Notice that the second term in the limit tends to 0 as n tends to infinity and therefore the value of s infinity is equal to 1 upon 8 times 1 minus 0 and therefore the sum to infinity of the given series is equal to 1 upon 8 which is the required answer.